Yo, Haru's like, yo, what is up with this guy, man? Why is he trying to steal my shit? <laughs> That's basically what he's looking at him like. I like it though. Ha suspicious Haru. <laughs> What up, what up, people? It's Leviathan, and we're back with another reaction today. Today, we are continuing Trab 9, Episode 7. That was a terrible hit. <laughs> I have, like, no range. No nothing. I ain't a baseball player. Who gives a shit? Let's go on to the recap. <laughs> um, episode 6 was, 6 was pretty good, you know? Um, we had, um, what's it called? The, the, the battle with, um, I guess you can say, the... the um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Ultra family and things like that with like Senju kind of challenging them coming in Battling and things like that what was really great about it was we actually got to see that you know what I mean? I didn't think we were gonna see it, but we actually saw the massacre and it was really great to see because we saw how much um, Ojiro just kind of like destroyed all of them like he just like demolished their whole team like nothing and and he's like his strength is just like like I don't know, man. It's just like a whole, a whole nother level. But we saw the massacre that happened with um, their their tribe and things like that. So it, it it sucked, you know. The Adachi tribe they died essentially, not not literally, but figuratively. But it definitely uh, sparked a fire inside of Taiga. You know what I mean? Because for a while this man's been feeling useless, and I and I kind of get it a little bit. You know what I mean? Like the him trying to, f I'm not like um, fitting in and things like that with like the team and feeling like he's useless and stuff like that. And what that um, that uh, Kazuki guy said to him, Ayama, he it kind of stuck with Taiga. So it was really great to see him actually kind of accept help and kind of move on to like something else. And it was great to see him kind of get trained by um, what's it called, Sakura Hanafuda, the guy we saw a couple of episodes ago during episode. Uh, three, I think, when when um, the Ochiori family was battling them, and then they were watching Kami and stuff. Those two guys were watching. So I don't know where their affiliations lie, but they seem like pretty cool dudes. So I'm not even gonna front. Like Sakura, literally is a ladies' man. You know, he's got like his own brothel kind of kind of thing going on there. I don't know if it is a brothel. I think it's a massage parlor. Parlor, but yeah. <laughs> That was like so hard to say for some reason. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get started with episode seven of Tribe Nine. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out the Patreon link for full on cut reactions of this anime, other TV shows, other movies, things like that. Honestly, check it out. It's only for a dollar and can't hurt. But um, without further ado, though, we are going to get started with. Tribe 9 episode 7. Let's go. I'm glad we didn't get like an unfortunate like recap kind of going on here. We're just like starting right into the episode. Dude, if you swing it 10,000 times, Taiga, you're gonna get so strong, man. Like, you don't understand. Like, if you hit something, it'll literally go flying. <laughs> it went from 10,000 to 100,000 swings, man. How are you trying to swing a damn log, man? <laughs> Man, I, like, I bet you none of them are even questioning the fact that Taiga just like disappeared. They're like, where the hell did he go? Yeah, you know what's funny though? I just realized this is a diner, so which means they have customers. But I've never seen them have a single customer coming in here. Isn't it closed like all the time though, man? I've never seen a single one of these people work, man. <laughs> no, this guy's trying to steal the bat. Yo, when the hell? Did Haru get become such a parkour a expert, man? The guy literally skilled the wall like it was nothing. 
ビームバット盗まれそうになってこっちに行きませんでしたか黒ずくめの覆面がさあ見てないけど I'm laughing how he like already claimed the beam bat man I like that cause normal horror would have been like they try to steal Kazuya's bat Yo, Haru's like, yo, what is up with this guy, man? Why is he trying to steal my shit? <laughs> That's basically what he's looking at him like. I like it though. Ha suspicious Haru. <laughs> Come on, man. It was so obvious that it was Ka Ayama. Like, you saw the scratch on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh god, no, oh god, no, Haru. <laughs> That's so random. There's a possibility that Ayama is actually a pretty cool dude, I think. But I think he's just trying to, like, t try to train him to become as best as they possibly can in the worst possible way. <laughs> Ooh, man, you win, you win 10 million dollars, man. Yo, Haru definitely gonna jump into that. I don't know if he's ready yet, but maybe Pinch or Saori can do something. You know? <laughs> Okay, why are they all in bathing suits? I, I, I didn't really understand that. I didn't understand why the maid there had a bathing, bathing suit. But you know what? I, I like I like the fan service, man. I'm good. Like the guy fully makes his maids wear bathing suits for what reason? I don't know. Other than he's a he's a fat loser. <laughs> Is that all it takes, man? You let a man walk all over you, and then he gives you stacks of cash. Is that is that how is that what how we're is that what we're doing now, man? Is that is that how is that how we're is that what we're doing? Oh yeah. I guess so. But are you sure? Bro, can you guys get the hell out of here, man? You guys are, do not need to be here, you losers, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is some unexpected fan service, but I like it. <laughs> that that pink haired one, man. Ooh, waifu material times 20, bro. <laughs> Like, what kind of like pitch was that? Like, what the shit? <laughs> oh, it is a trick. So they must get paid a whole lot of money to have to like wait, I, I, like be a butler to this guy and just walk around parading herself. Like she's <laughs> I like this guy, bro. He he's an interesting character because his goals are not 100% clear. I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but he, I'm leaning more towards good. You know what I mean? With with uh, really messed up intentions. <laughs> Why does it have a big red V on there, man? I think it's supposed to say you guys are all virgins, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I knew they laced those drinks with something, bro. Like some extreme lack of laxative or something. Okay, okay, dude, come on. Why is he trying to steal his beam bat so like heavily? I don't understand it, man. What is he what is he trying to do with his beam bat? It's very suspicious. My goals are beyond your understanding. Minato Tribe. Sa Uketorugai. Okay, that was just way too easy, man. What the hell? Damena Kigasirendese. Adatinimo Chanto Katanashi. Why? Nani Kakotske denaya? Yoki Tane Hariku. Konda Kitana Yats no Kanan. Yo, I respect that, yo, but there was probably like a little bit of a trick going on with that money or something like that. Wait, what? He's the beam bat thing? Oh, is that why he was trying to make the Minato tribe win? Because I was like, why is he making the Minato tribe purposely win? And I think I understood he's trying to steal his bat. Sorry, あいにく失敗に終わったみたいだけど。そして今度はバッティング大会を開催し、港トライブを呼び出す作戦に出た。そしてようやく訪れたチャンス。Okay, but that still doesn't explain why Aoyama had the scratch on his hand earlier. You know what I mean? They're still trying to steal his beat back though. That's hilarious. It was the girl. だけど、本物はこっちだよ。Okay, she wasn't the thief from before. It was obviously that guy who was the thief because, like, the thief was fat when they were running. Is this all what the Setagaya tribe is, man? Just this guy and a bunch of girls in bikinis? Because I'm telling you, if it is, I'm, I'm, I'm out, bro. I'm out. Screw the Setagaya tribe, bro, and all their money. まだ僕のこと信用できない。え、えっと、ピエ。よかった。セクション。セクション。はい。金で手に入らないものなんてあるはずがない。なんだ。これ。Don't open it. Don't open it, you stupid idiot. You idiot. I knew it was a bomb. マジかよ。犯人は逃走中って。え、僕ないない。なあ。作戦は成功だ。橋が着かないように吹き飛ばしてきた。綺麗さっぱりだ。ゴキ。What? So it was very interesting to know about that. She seems to know who he is. He tried it. He tried it. He tried it, yo. He tried it. That was fucking hilarious. That was actually so funny. He keeps like, let me see. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that was that was a great that was great. I love that last scene right over there, at the end of the episode. <laughs> but that was that was um that was Tribe Nine episode episode seven, man. Oh, that was good. Uh, first half there seemed to be like a little bit of um, a filler episode, you know what I mean? Um, the story itself didn't really um, connect much with like what was going on here um, with the um, with Taiga. I thought we would see more training from Taiga, but I don't think we're gonna see that. I think they wanted to show us a little 
a tidbit of it kind of to kind of give us an idea of like what his training is going to be like and things like that and to kind of tell us hey yo taiga is literally out in the forest swinging a giant log a log a hundred thousand times a day so just know when he comes back he's gonna be a beast okay that that's just basically what I, what i'm getting at from that but it was great to see like um kind of a bit of like Ayama's character a little bit more because I'm, I'm still very confused about him you know what I mean he's not very clear about who he is but he seems to want everybody to trust him I guess you can say and he seems to want pe uh, to be a part of the Minotaur tribe so even though he has shady shady stuff going on I, I feel like he has good intentions you know what I mean ultimately he has good intentions for sure but the main focus of this episode was this batting contest where we didn't see a single person bat. Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> that actually got me very, very frustrated. Because we saw the Ulta, Ulta tribe just shoot once or whatever, and that was it. That was the whole batting uh, contest. I thought we would see more, but I guess it was just more to kind of um, build up this other new um, arc that's going on with this new tribe, the Ulta tribe. And they are ruthless, and I like it. You know what I mean? They're, they're the kind of people from the slums, man. Like, they'll do anything to survive, you know? They don't give a shit. And it was it was really great to... Um, it was really great to see, like, a little bit of, like, what happened. And Ayama kind of telling us about how, like, um, the Seta Gaia tribe were the ones who were trying to steal Haru's beam bat for some reason. I don't know how he knew about it. I don't know where he heard about it. But he just knew that he had a beam bat, so he wanted to steal it. I'm wondering what, like, why Kazuki's, um... um not Kazuki, why um, Kamiya's um, being bad is important or why is it so special? It, it seems to be something that might um, kind of go through with it later, but we'll see going forward. But um, anyway, uh, I think that's it for that, though. There really wasn't much to kind of see. Seeing the Ultra Tribe was really great to see, honestly. Like, um seeing their like um how ruthless they were like that one scene where like the guy's like oh look at this money he's like oh can i see god like that shit was so funny i couldn't i couldn't stop laughing like that shit was hilarious like the guy instantly pulled up the shank and just was like instant and the guy's like whoa nope not nah, not nah. and then there was like a bunch of guys behind him ready to kill him it was it was great. It was it was it was really funny to see. I liked that a lot, and I showed a lot for what kind of um uh, character he is, this Sonata guy, because it seems as though like um it is survival of the fittest for their tribe, right? So it seems as though like they um essentially he kind of had to fight his way to get up there. So he's definitely strong for sure. He definitely is, and we gotta and we gotta accept that as a reality. But anyway, um, yeah, I think that's it for the for the recap here. There really wasn't anything more to um, to think about here. Just excited to see what's gonna happen in the next episode, and I think um, that has already come out yet as as I'm recording this. So um, gonna try to just jump on that right away. So you'll see that on the next video. But for this video though, I will see you guys around. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great great rest of your day, man. Bye, guys.